Muay Thai is without doubt an effective martial art. Muay Thai is an essential part of the culture of the Thai people and it is very common for the fighters to start training at a young age. Thai people regard Muay Thai as a martial art but as a medium of spiritual development as well. Muay Thai has a long history and has evolved a lot and today is a top fighting sport and a top choice for the MMA fighters. It incorporates striking, but also excellent stand-up grappling combined with knees, elbows, sweeps and dumps. Muay Boran is the predecessor of the modern Muay Thai and is actually the old art. It all started by the armed conflicts with the neighboring kingdoms. The Thai people had to protect their land, so they developed their army. The fighters had to be effective in the battlefield. So mastery in the arms such as swords, spears and pole arms was necessary. Part of this training was also the conditioning of the body to be used as a weapon, mimicking the sword and the spear movements. From this element came out the martial art known as Mai Boran. Later, Muay Boran started to be used in fights as well, as an activity, and became a common thing for the Thai people. After World War II, the art started to be modernized with the introduction of rules, rounds, referees, and became of what we know today as Muay Thai. The 60s, 70s and 80s are considered the golden era of Muay Thai. At these decades Muay Thai grown big and reached its highest point as a professional sport and show. Many golden names emerged and put the golden standards along with their globes. The sport at this age has everything, from footwork to combos. The fighters showcase excellent sportsmanship. A lot of people have been fascinated by the power of the sport of Muay Thai and they try to test their skills against the Thais or learning from them. The Japanese 
Full Conduct Karate and Kickboxing Pioneers were some of the first fighters to have bouts with the ties during the 60s. Slowly at the beginning, more foreigners started to go to Thailand and then this movement brought an influx of foreign fighters. Toshio Fujiwara from Japan is one of these first pioneers. Ramon Deckers, Netherlands. Danny Bill, Cameroon. John Wayne Park, Australia. K1 promotion was something unique in the fight sports. It was a perfect promotion in every aspect, with a good rule set, which enabled Muay Thai, kickboxing, sanda, karate to compete against each other. With the K1 emerged some of the most influential fighters ever known, which they helped to make the sport popular. And the best example is Wakao himself. The K1 was a catalyst for many kickboxers to incorporate Muay Thai in their styles. Now Muay Thai has broken its initial boundaries and has expanded and it has millions of practitioners worldwide. There is a whole generation in Muay Thai styles as hybrid arts. Ernesto Hust, Mr. Perfect. Kaoklai Kenorshin, the giant killer. Sanchai Kingstar
Kevin Ross, The Soul Assassin. Jonathan Haggerty, the general. Muay Thai is a top choice for many fighters as a striking art. It offers the full package for every fighter. It offers everything. It offers so more than striking. It offers good stand-up grappling skills, optimized to be used together with fair strikes. As we can see here, Anderson Silva the Spider doing it perfectly. Christian Justino is cyber. Paul Felder, the Irish Dragon. No 
Reyes, the aggressive striker. Edson Barbosa, the first kicker. Valentina Sevchenko, The Bullet Jose Aldo, the devastating low kicks. Joanna the Violence Until the gorilla. Douglas Lima, The Phenom
Mauricio Rua, Shogun. Gaston Bolanos, The Dream Killer. Jury Pro Chop. Donald Cerrone, the cowboy. Muay Thai, an amazing art for self-development, sport and self-defense. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.